Hey, Macy, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Um, this is a big fight for you. You're probably in, in the best moment of your career right now. Talk to us about, you know, coming into this big pay-per-view, this big card, and arguably the, the best run of your career. I'm excited. I'm here and I'm ready, and it's time to go knock another girl out. And your last fight was uh, quite a show, um, and you've been picking up steam. Um, have you felt it, besides obviously inside of the cage, have you felt it around your life, sort of how everything's been kind of coming together for you? I do, you know, I'm with a, a great team, and I put in a lot of work, and um, I feel like for me, it's like coming off of a long, a, a while ago, obviously, coming off of that injury, a, not a few years ago, and just being able to have the experience and just live through this entire career, It's it's been a... A great thing. Yeah, and this is obviously a big fight for the division. Do you f do you see it as a title eliminator? You feel like a win here will get you the next shot? I do. Um, either that, or you know, like I said, obviously Alexa still has the belt, so it would be a title eliminator and and getting a title shot. Um, I feel like when I finish Caitlyn, you know, the gatekeeper, I feel like for me that really sets me up and is like, all right, fine, like. She dominantly finished Caitlyn. Now it's time to give her a shot. And uh, I'm still coming for my rematch. Yeah. So a lot is expected that maybe uh, they're going to do a trilogy fight between Alexa and Valentina. Do you feel like if you make a statement against Caitlyn, you can skip over Valentina and be fighting for the belt next? I mean, I'm down to do that. But, you know, even if they do have their trilogy, you know, if, if they're scheduled to fight, you know, I'd like to be the backup fighter. That would be great. Um, or, or whatever we can make work, you know. Uh, there's injuries, there's things that pop up, so I'll be ready. Yeah. And, and lastly, what have you made of Alexa's run, and are, are you surprised at all that, you know, she not only became champion, pulled off a big upset, but has been able to retain her belt so far? I'm not surprised. Um, honestly, though, I, I did think that that was a lot closer fight than it was, the, the rematch. Um, and I think that that's why we're getting a trilogy. Uh, but for me, I think that Alexa has done great. You know, I've always thought that she's a she's a phenomenal fighter, and um, that's why I want that's why I want my rematch because I know my third round with her, I won that third round, and had I had a five round fight, I would have won that fight too. Macy, right here. Um, just want to get your thoughts too on the Aaron Blanchfield, Manon Faro, and kind of could I think a lot of people think that might be a title eliminator as well. So uh, they're not exciting though. Do you think that that would be what separates you is maybe if, the, the, if you were to go out there, get a finish like that would be what could surpass you over them? Absolutely. I know that, you know, obviously they're, they're girls in the division, but like, I don't know a lot of people that are like, oh yeah, Aaron Blanchfield, oh yeah, man. And you know, like they're, they're just there, you know, they're, um, they're good fighters, but I don't think they have everything to be able to be, you know, a title shot or, um, a dominant and, and great champion. And I guess, what do you think of that matchup? Is there somebody one way or the other that you're leaning towards? Yeah, not really. <laughs> it's kind of like a, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Let me see over here. Um, obviously, from the outside looking in, I'm sure you've watched the tape on her, but to us, it just seems like Catelyn can, like, just, she frustrates her opponents a lot with just, you know, staying out of reach and just doing, like, her, her, her teep kicks and everything. So when you're breaking her down, is it that cut and dry, like, she just frustrates her opponents into these decision wins, or do you see kind of more in the technique she brings? Yeah, I, uh, more of what I look at is their decision wins. They're not finishes. They're not dominant. They're not... You know, they're just they're just decision wins. You know, she's doing enough to to win a decision, um, and all the girls that she's fought um, that have gone for a finish, specifically Andrade, um, she got finished. You know, so that's what we plan to do is we're going to go out there and finish her. I'm not going out there to point fight with her. Um, I'm going out there to finish her. When you say finish her, do you envision this staying on the feet like a like a like a, a clean knockout or? Like when she fought Valentina, you know, she took her down and was kind of ground and pound with the elbows. Like, how do you see this fight playing out? I see this fight playing out where I can win anywhere. You know, I'm dominant in the striking. I'm dominant in the grappling. Um, I'm going to be too much for her. And then just last one for me. Can I get your thoughts on the main event between Sean and Cheeto? Uh, yeah, I, I like watching both of them fight. You know, um, it'll be an interesting fight. But for me, you know, I'm a fan of Sean O'Malley. I think that he's going to pull it off. Miss you over here. I just want to get your thoughts on your division. I mean, it seems like it's in a very healthy spot right now. You have yourself, obviously, Caitlin, Alexa, Valentina, Manon, Aaron, the list goes on. So what, is, what are your thoughts on the current state of the flyweight division? 
I think that we have a lot of great fighters, but I don't think we have a lot of huge personalities and people that stand out. You know, I think that there are a lot of great flyweights in the flyweight division, but I like to think of myself as one of the girls that stands out in the division because I'm not afraid to say what I think. Um, and I feel like everyone else kind of just like, just continues on, you know? And if the UFC does opt to go with the Alexa Valentina trilogy and then give it to Aaron and Manon, Manon winner, is that a situation where you see yourself maybe doing one more before a title shot or just kind of sit around and wait for the shot, maybe do a backup like you said? Yeah, I definitely wanna, don't want to sit around and wait. Um, depending on how that would play out is I want my rematch with Alexa Grasso. I don't care how it comes, you know, if it's with the title shot, without the title shot, if she loses the trilogy, I don't care. I want my rematch. Um, and obviously, ultimately, I want the title too. So I think that those are the two that we could figure out, you know, if, if one of them gets a title shot. But that's something that I got to figure out and, and decide on. But um, it's kind of a, a weird situation because there's not a whole lot of people ahead, but also... Like, you don't really fight backwards. Um, the only time I was going to fight backwards was when I tried to fight Juliana Pena. Macy, right here. Um, you know, you obviously are very confident coming into this one, talking about getting the finish. And I'm, I'm curious, you know, when you started out and you had the countdown clock and you had a couple of setbacks, was it kind of difficult to adjust and then get back to a place where you can be this confident heading into a fight? Uh, I mean, I think that it was just a learning process you know it's like i know what i want to do and i know how, like where i want to be but it's just like trying to figure out how to get there um and so like i said it's a learning process but i'm here and i learned i learned my way here <laughs> so we're good and then you know a lot of people have noted about how stacked this card is so is this the next best thing to being on ufc 300 honestly i think this card to me is is better than 300 um, and I'm honored to be on this one and we're here in Miami and I love it um, but yeah thank you mm -hmm. just, just to follow because you, you mentioned Juliana again is that the only fight you would go up for at Bantamweight outside of obviously a title shot I mean yeah I think that I think that the 35 division also needs excitement I think a lot of women's fighting needs excitement, and I, I'm down to be the person that brings that excitement. You know, if I got to fight Juliana Pena, if I got to move up and fight at 35 for a title shot, I'm like, why not, you know? Like, we need that. So if presented with both Alexa and Juliana, would it be Alexa just based on, you know, you want to erase that L, or is it, you know, Juliana seems to be the most talked about women's fighter in both divisions at this point? I think it depends on the timing. Like, if it was like they're both at the same time, then it's like we gotta, we gotta think about that one, but... Uh, I'd take the easy, easier one first, which I think is Juliana, and then I'd, then I'd go and fight uh, Alexa. What makes Juliana more easier than Alexa? I just don't think she's that great of a fighter. Of course. <laughs>